Hello friends, uh, today we are going to learn uh, size metrics matrices uh, which is part of our software engineering subject. Uh, actually uh, size matrices means we have to calculate uh, the size of the program uh, and the size of the process what we are using in the product. Actually when we write a program uh, using any language so there are numbers of lines. So according to that uh, we have to find out the actual size of that particular program is. So this size oriented matrices allows us for estimating efforts uh, then uh, it helps in uh, time scale and the total number of faults. It helps us to find out the total number of faults uh, in that program as well uh, that the process actually consists of. Uh, this size oriented matrix actually a critical and difficult area of uh, project planning as uh, compared to other systems. Uh, there are two methods of uh, size oriented matrices. The first is LOC, uh, it is also called as a line of code and uh, second is FP that is a functional point. Uh, it is also called as a function count. First of all, we will start with uh, line of code. Uh, line of code, uh, as I have already explained you uh, in size oriented matrices, we have to calculate the overall size of that particular system or the process. In line of code, basically we have to count the number of lines available in that particular program. So if you can read, LOC is any line of program text which will exclude all comments and blank spaces regardless of number of the statements on the line. Uh, the meaning is when you write up any program, it will not consider, while executing the program, it will not consider any comment or blank spaces which we are in between that particular lines. It will only include the program headers, declaration, executable and non-executable statements. So when any program we write, it will only consider those lines which are going to be get executed, which are non-executable statement, some program headers, declaration. It will exclude all comments, blank spaces, regardless of number of statement on the line that is in your program. So for example, we can see here, uh, first of all, we'll start with what are the advantages of LOC is. Uh, the first advantage is using LOC uh, for size estimation. So actual size of the program can be calculated using LOC. Uh, the second advantage of LOC that is line of code is easy to count and calculate for developed code. For developed code is the program which is ready to execute completed by the programmer. For that purpose, we can able to use this LOC method. Uh, some of the disadvantage are uh, is a language and technology dependent but a specific language or a specific technology can be used using LOC. No other language other than the specific language it cannot be used uh, and second is if you use any bad software uh, which will continuously add more and more lines for the particular code which will be very difficult to count. So we have to use a specific language oriented technology oriented program or any application to write the code. So these are the advantages and the disadvantages of the line of code. Uh, further, uh, when we do a function call uh, over here, so at number 8, it will go to the line number 12, it will execute all code, come back over here and print the value. So in our program, there are total number of 18 line except line number 7 and line number 12 we have actual number of code is 16 because two lines were commented which are not going to be executed so in LOC we are going to consider only line those who are executable non-executable except the comment line which are not going to be considered. So line number 7 and line number 12 will be not considered while calculating the actual line of code. So total number of line of code in our program is 18 and actual code which going to be executed or which going to be counted is only 16. Further when we start working on functional point analysis it is also called as function count. Uh, it is one of the solution for size measurement problem. 
uh, while delivering any product how many functions need to be calculated for example uh, while calculating or while building any product what are different inputs you required what are different outputs we are going to received uh, what will be the cost of that particular product is uh, how many uh, uh, users going to uh, employees going to be used for completing that particular project how much time period it will take all things will be calculated over here so example is given input output internal and external etc uh, the special features of function point analysis is independent of the language any language can be used for function point analysis uh, the furthermore uh, the estimate development efforts in early phases uh, in early phases we have we can able to estimate the development efforts for example when all the requirements are already available with us so at, and it is which is specified by the customer at that time only we can able to say that so these are the numbers of uh, requirements are already available and according to those requirement we can estimate overall cost overall time and overall period required for that particular process or the product to be completed then we have directly linked with the requirement of course until unless we not linked this particular features or function point to individual requirement we not able to complete the particular execution task then furthermore we have uh, based on user external view of the system how the system going to perform what will be the output all those check, uh, things will be checked over here then uh, we have uh, some principles so the, the actual principle of function point analysis is the system is decomposed into functional unit so what are the different decomposed functional units are so first is input second is output third is inquiries fourth is internal logical files and fifth one is the external logical files so input is nothing but the what type of input user going to provide it for to the system output by executing those particular input what output we are going to receive for example client server communication if client send a request to uh, to have a connection with the server if a reply comes or acknowledgement come from the server yes you can so then the further communication channel will be created so such type of input and output can be get received using this function point analysis or function count analysis uh, third is inquiry request for instance access of information what we actually required from that particular system that will be inquired by the client towards a server or any database then uh, we have internal logical files so uh, it information held within the system internal logical what are the different files are stored into the database or into the hard disk those files are internal of that particular system or internal of that particular software which can be going to be executed accessed by the user then uh, we have external logical files information held by other system that is used up used by the system being analyzed when we analyzing analysis the system at that time we can make use of those external logical files further we can see that some of the function so the function point analysis have five function unit categorized into two type of two types so we have internal external internal logic external logic and uh, uh, external interface file so this five functions which we have just read uh, have two type two uh, categories first is transactional functional type and data functional type the transactional functional type further divided into three part that is external io external output and external inquiries and data functional type divided into internal logical files and external interface files if you see the further slide that is the last slide explain overall information about functional point analysis over here you can see that we have a user we have a application boundary application boundary is for application being measured which is made up of ilf and ilf internal logical files which we have internal external files as well other applications uh, for example say hard disk we have uh, some storage devices we have some so servers all other things so over here user is internal accessing internal information that is input is provided output is received accordingly for inquiry both way communication can be done then while accessing any information so internal information external output which is received from ilf for other application devices and inquiry for 
both of the system. So in functional point analysis, we can make use of users. We can have application boundaries inside which we have ILF, internal logical files, and we have other applications which are connected to each other, which can be done using external input, internal input, external output, inquiries and so many things. So this is how we are going to actually work on functional point analysis. So today we have learned two type, LOC, uh, two type of size matrices. Uh, the first is LOC line of code and second is function point analysis or function count analysis. Hope you understand. Thank you.